Phoenix loves the Mount comebacks against the Mavs. Now, in fairness, the first two games, Luka Doncic didn't play the season, but on January 20th, down by eight to start the fourth, uh, they had a 16-point advantage in the fourth. So what does that tell you about this particular matchup between these two teams? I think it shows you the maturity of the Suns and their the willingness to engage in the situation. Okay, we down. You know what? The fourth quarter is our time. We're going to go out and show you what, what we can do in the fourth quarter. And also, you know, it's a totally different story now with the Dallas Mavericks. They're a different team. I think they're a better defensive team now than they were then. So it's going to be an interesting matchup with this situation. Again, we're going to bring it up. You have seven rings, right? You know a thing or two about winning championships. For Luka Doncic, this is his first year out of the first round. But check out this stat about him. Second all-time in points per game in the postseason. So to get that off of his back, now that weight is gone, what do you think about that for Luka going into this round? I think you have to look at the man in front of you, MJ, and say, I got to get the way he's getting, you know, winning championships. Sometimes guys can get to the playoffs and win games and score a lot of points, but you got to find a way to get the others involved. I know you're a great facilitator, but sometimes you got to will them to win and sometimes give up shots so that guy can get a rhythm so he'll be better for you down the line. He's speaking of uh, better for you down the line. You bring in Jason Kidd his first year as head coach. Luka Doncic having a great season. But Jalen Brunson emerging. Uh, that synergy between head coach and point guard. What did you notice in this postseason for Jalen Brunson under Jason Kidd? I noticed Jalen's like, oh, Luca, you're in my way. <laughs> That's what I noticed, right? <laughs> but this guy has been sitting back and learning from one of the best point guards to ever play this game. You're being coached by him now. And now you're watching Luca and the moves he's able to do. Because if you watch Luca and you're a former basketball player, you're like, how does he get so open? He's not fast, but he's crafty. And I think Brunson has learned how to be crafty like Luca, smart like Jason, and using his speed to put it all together to make him who he is right now. Speaking of a guy that's at the top of his game, Devin Booker came back in game six with that hamstring injury. That's something you were telling me. Hey, he's back, but not out of the water yet. Explain that. Uh, like sometimes you watch when he hurt himself, he tried to sprint too hard and he had no way of getting back defensively. So you got to you got to be engaged and understand your body. Say, OK, do I really exert myself too hard? and maybe re-hurt myself, or do I just let a point go? It's almost like a foul situation. Is that third foul in the first half worth me going and trying to make that mistake or make that block? No. So he needs to be very careful on when he exerts himself and when not to exert himself. And to close out the New Orleans Pelicans, Chris Paul, 14 for 14 from the field. Just break down how magnificent that was for the point guard. Matt, when you watch Chris play, he has the the perfect game of speed, craftiness, and being able to escape. Because he can get into the paint and play amongst the big boys. And next thing you know, you're like, which way did he go? He escapes and his shot from three, we don't talk about it because he's playing with Booker, he playing with Bridges. But the guy has always been a knockdown three-point shooter. His game in this game was magnificent. He's like, you know what? I got to go. I got to show you what to do. I got to get back to the finals because I've been there, I tasted it, I want it. And I think he has a great opportunity to win it this year. Well, who wins the series? Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix, and, Phoenix and five. And five. And Phoenix gentlemen, and five.